Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Mano back at it inside of Destiny here with your weekly reset video for June 27th, 2017. We're going to be going over all the endgame content that you can do this week inside of Destiny. So if you like something in this video, a positive rating would be greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 content. And with that, let's lock and load. First of all, this week we've got the weekly featured raid of the Vault of Glass. It's got two challenge modes, Templar Challenge and Atheon Challenge. Okay, and if you're needing any help with those raids or anything else like that, the weekly featured raid especially, come on over to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash manoduster777. I'm going to be carrying people and helping people through the raid as much as possible when I get the opportunity to do it. So make sure you stop by the channel, turn on notifications, and we can get you in and taken care of. Next up, we have the weekly Nightfall Strike. This week it is the Shadow Thief Strike, which is going to be modified. It's going to have the SIVA uh, version of the weekly Nightfall Nightfall Strike. The modifiers this week are Grounded, Fresh Troops, Match Game, and Catapult. So Fresh Troops basically means that there's going to be a lot of reinforcements and things like that. Match Game means that you have to use weapons that are matching the type of shield that the enemies are using. And Catapult, which means that your grenades are going to respawn at a very, very enhanced rate. So that's the weekly Nightfall Strike this week. Next up in the Siva Crisis Heroic playlist, we've got Heroic, Specialist, Exposure, and Airborne. So, if you've got the ability to jump in the air and then use sniper rifles or shotguns, it's going to be really solid this week. Going over to the Weekly Story playlist, we've got Orc Seeks Vengeance for His Lost Son. So, this is any of the Taken King story missions, and the modifiers this week are Berserk and specialist again specialist seems to be the modification that we're seeing uh, from a lot of stuff here in the pve activities going on over to the challenge of the elders we've got the following modifiers chaff super kill bonus and grounded grounded basically means that if you jump in the air and the enemies do damage to you they will do enhanced damage so if you stay grounded as it as it says you won't get killed as much uh, you won't get hurt as much, but uh, just when you're airborne, you do you take more damage. Again, not a great week. Super kill bonus is okay, but uh, nothing that's really has any good synergy in the uh, challenge of the elders. This week for the Crucible, we've got doubles. We've got clash, rift, elimination, or skirmish and Rumble Supremacy. So kind of an interesting week this week, not nearly as fun as last week in terms of being able to do random stuff and things like that. Uh, let's go over to the Iron Temple and see what is going on over there. Okay, we are here at Tyra Karn. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the pieces that she's got this week. We've got the Memory of Felwinter, where you lose your super but gain one extra a grenade and melee charge and small boosts to all stats. Orbs grant melee and grenade damage discipline and strength roll of 162 and 167 respectively that's a 320 percent roll remember that some people talk about having tier 13 and tier 14 and tier 15 uh rolls and you can do that with this artifact but remember that you don't really get that because you don't actually get your super so anything that's in your intellect slot is going to be negated next up we've got the memory of tamir which is melee atten attacks on me Minor Minions of the Darkness have the chance to temporarily turn the target against its allies. It has a strength roll of 112, which is not very good, honestly. It is a 91% roll. If you need to, stay away from this one this week unless if you absolutely need it. The Memory of Perun is the final artifact for this week. Enemy Guardians with full supers and all enemies with low health are highlighted. Pretty much the most worthless exotic, or excuse me, artifact in my opinion. Uh, that's going to be like an 84% roll roll so pretty much it's not always skip i really just picked up one memory of perun and just did it so i could get my quest lines and things like that done and then i moved on so the memory of Felwinter is the best one to get this week everything else is very 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 skippable going down over here to shiro 4 let's see what he has over here for bounties again any of his weekly bounties are things that will get you the thorn quest we've got use arc damage to kill fallen use Kill Fallen, Majors, and Ultras. Definitely want to be picking these up if you're going to be doing the Nightfall. We've got Complete Dragon Counters in the Archon's Forge. And then we have Complete Servitor Encounters in the Archon's Forge. Let's go ahead and go over to the tower and see what's going on over there. Hey, Guardians. We're over here at Lord Shax. Let's see what different bounties he has for us this week. 
go okay, pick one of those up we've got exercise your skills in the clash match type followed by exercise your skills in the rift match type so it's possible to get those things done but if you need to maybe pick something else up if you need to go on over here to the crucible quartermaster we've got use auto rifles use pulse rifles use shotguns use snipers and use heavy weapons to defeat other guardians in the crucible some good things to have this week in that regard some pretty good things that work with the meta let's go over to commander zavala and let's see what's going on over there for the bounties here we've got earn gold tier achieved silver tier achieved or bronze tier achieved medals earn a gold tier achieved medal in the nightfall before time expires again this is the icebreaker bounty if you need to pick that up and rapidly earn primary special and heavy streak medals to earn rainbow medals so some good bounties this week nothing too crazy nothing too different from anything else and of course you guys know that I like to talk about the donations and things like that this week everyone is taking worm spore except for dead orbit who is going to be taking spirit bloom so nothing too crazy this week in that regard it's another week where we are going to have some maintenance on the servers and the servers are going to be offline from 7 a.m. Pacific daylight time to 4 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. So a pretty big window where we're going to be able to not play here, at least on the reset day. So get in there early this week, Guardians, or just make sure you're there afterwards. Again, guys, if you like something in this video, a positive rating is greatly appreciated. Hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 content. And feel free to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are hitting up this week. And guys, I will see you next time in the universe of Destiny.